Professor, thanks so much for coming on. So if you add this up, and again, we just presented a bunch of different specific examples. If we had four hours, we could probably get more comprehensive, but you're seeing the core institutions of American life destroyed by this one mandate, which you know, by itself is a challenge, an insult really to American liberty. But in its effect, it's going to render inoperable our hospitals, our airlines, our police departments, our fire departments, our long-term care facilities. I mean, fill in the blanks, what else is there? That's our society and none of it's gonna work very soon. What's the point of this, I wonder? I don't know. It's part of a lot of policies, Tucker, and it's not Tucker Carlson that's saying this alone. It's right. Barack Obama that says the border is unsustainable, or uh, Larry Summers says the economic agenda won't work, or senators on the Democratic side said Afghanistan is a disaster. So it's everybody is saying, what's going on? We've never seen anything like it. We've read about the Buchanan presidency, and we some of us lived through the Carter, so is it incompetence? Accidental? Is, is it non compos mentis problems with the president? Or was this by design an anarchy, a chaos, a nihilism that was sort of never let a, a crisis go to waste during this tragedy of 2020 to have a, 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 an agenda that doesn't pull in any of its items 50%, but through the sheer fear of this chaotic, anarchic, uh, anarchistic, we're going to have a new agenda that's socialist? And nobody knows. But they do know one thing, Tucker, that the academic world and the abstract world is not just parlor games. It matters that critical race theory that we wrote off as you know, racism is necessary to fight racism. Nobody would believe that, we thought, or new monetary theory. Print money and you get prosperity. Or critical legal theory that there's no connection between innate natural law and real law. We said nobody would believe that. And then suddenly they woke up and we see that district attorneys are letting people go off uh, scot-free after committing felonies, or we've got zero interest at a time we've got 6% annual inflation. So they're thinking, this is starting to affect us. There's, no, there's, no, there's nothing in the shop, at uh, the shelves at Walmart, or maybe Target's not going to have Christmas presents, or I don't want to walk out in New York at night. So the academic world has filtered down to the concrete world under this agenda, and they're really, really frightened. And they're saying, we, we've never seen something like this before. And when they look to these institutions you mentioned, they look at the military or professional sports or entertainment or Hollywood or Silicon Valley or social media or network news or Wall Street or, or the corporate boardroom. They say, what happened? We don't recognize this anymore. We've been asleep. And they've, been, they've filtered into all of these institutions with this agenda that we don't want. And it doesn't work. And so yeah. they're in a panic. And I think just to end, Tucker, there's going to be a reckoning. And I think people, whether they're Mexican-American communities on the border or where I live or soccer moms that are mad about what's being taught in the school, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a top-down woke revolution. It's a grassroots populist revolution. We're going to see it in the next midterms. And I think a lot of these institutions are going to rue the positions that they've taken and the damage they've done. Looking back when hospitals told people that they couldn't hold the hands of their parents or spouses or children as they died because of COVID, and no one pushed those people out of the way and said, no, it's my parent, I'm going to hold her hand as she dies. When people put up with that, I, I wonder if you can come back, if you can assert you know, your value as a human being once you've already allowed them to separate you from your parents as they die. It seems like, I don't know, can we come back from that? I hope so. I believe that was what was great about America. We're built on a middle-class citizenry with, with pragmatic, practical sense. And they're saying, if our leaders say no mask, one mask, two mask, herd immunity 60, 70, 80, 90%, no gain-of-function research at the virology lab in Wuno, then they've lost credibility. And when they say there's no such thing as really natural acquired immunity, you all got to get vaccinated, even if you've had COVID. I think that people are saying, I want to believe them, but I can't believe them anymore, and I'm going to use common sense. And it's starting to coalesce, and it's really terrifying the left. I don't, I don't think I've seen them ever more terrified. I think that's, and people should, should insist on common sense. Don't let them separate you from your loved yeah. ones in their final moment, period. Each according to a state, each person, absolutely, each according to a station has to speak out. I think that's right. Victor Davis Hanson, I appreciate it. Great to see you tonight. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.